My name is Sofia Garcia and I will be presenting the definition of basis. What is a basis? First of all, a basis of a vector space is any linearly independent subset of it that spans the whole vector space. In other words, each vector in the vector space can be written exactly in one way as a linear combination of the basis vectors. Think of the ordinary three-dimensional space in which we live in. Now imagine three vectors in the space of any length you like, pointing in different directions and not all in the same plane. Then this set of vectors is the basis for that space because any other vectors in the space can be expressed as a linear combination of these three. You can make a basis for this space in an infinite number of ways. In each case, the three vectors stretch out to fill the space rather than merely filling a single, split, single place or a single line. What does a basis look like? In this example, the collection IJ is a basis for R2. It spans R2 and the vectors I and J are linearly independent because neither is a multiple of the other. This is called the standard basis for R2. Similarly, the set IJK is called the standard basis for R3 because it spans for R3 and it's linearly independent. In this example in black, this is the general standard basis for Rn. What doesn't a basis look like? The collection I plus J, J plus K is not a basis for R3. Although it is linearly independent, it does not span all of R3. For example, there exists no linear combination of I plus J and J plus K that equals I plus J plus K. Thank you so much for watching.